Hello friends, this video on body movements part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next type of bones that we would discuss are the shoulder bones. So when it comes to shoulder bones, it is not a single bone which is present in the shoulder region because you see a lot of flexibility is there in the shoulders. So that it, the so shoulder part is made up of three bones. So these three bones together help us to move things where we see movement of our shoulder. Now, have you ever observed that when a person presses something really hard or when somebody is lifting a heavy weight, you can actually see that the bones here become kind of evident or when somebody is pushing a wall very hard. So what happens? He is applying a lot of pressure. So the bones are seen standing near his shoulder. So what are these three bones? Collar bones which are present here. So these are the collar bones. The next one is shoulder blade. So the shoulder blade is this part. This part where it gets joined to your arm. So that's the shoulder blade. And then the third part that is this part is your upper arm. And as we discussed that upper arm is made up of single long bone. So this makes your shoulder bones. So the collar bone and the shoulder blade together forms the shoulder bone. So the upper arm bone and the shoulder blade, they have a connection. Like they have a, a connection in such a way their joint is a ball and socket joint because of which complete movement is possible. So you can actually rotate your upper arm, rotate your entire arm over your shoulder blade because the shoulder blade acts as the socket and the upper arm has a rounded top so it acts like the ball so the ball and socket joint now the last type of bone that we will discuss is the pelvic bones so these are the bones which are present in the pelvis region so pelvis is that portion of the body which lies below the stomach so this portion of the body is the pelvis so, or you can say that this is the region which lies between the abdomen and the thighs. So, here these are your thighs and this is your abdomen. So, just between the abdomen and thighs you have the pelvis. So, uh, when we sit, we sit on this part. So, we are putting all our pressure on the pelvic part. Hip bones are also a part of the pelvic bones. So, when you uh, talk about the bones, sitting postures involve the pelvic bones so it also involves the a part of the backbone which forms a part of it so when we talk about the pelvic bones these bones certain bones which are part of the backbone plus those bones which are part of the hip all of these together form the pelvic bones so these are the different parts of our body where we see the presence of thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.